Hey, another beautiful morning, and it's also the 4th of July. Woohoo! You know, I know where we're at, there aren't going to be any fireworks going off, and maybe where you're at too, but I've got a little secret to tell you. Just jump in the car and start driving around the neighborhood. You'll see plenty of them. Yeah, we've been up quite a few nights with the fireworks going off all around us. The dogs tell us what's happening. But <clears throat> it is 4th of July, and it is a time in which we, as people in this country, uh, gather together, or this year, don't really gather together, except as family groups, and we, we celebrate. We celebrate our independence as a nation. And uh, that's an okay thing, that's a good thing, but we have to keep in mind, we aren't a perfect country. We're not necessarily the best, although we are far ahead of other nations, uh, depending on which category you want to put us in. And in other categories, we're not doing so well. And you know what I mean. We need to do a little bit better, especially when it comes to our work with this pandemic that's going on right now. But I like what Tony Campolo had to say. Tony Campolo years ago said, Ah, oh, you know, we live in Babylon. And you go, what? Because Babylon in the Old Testament, they were the bad guys. They're the ones that carried all the people in Jerusalem off into exile. Uh, you know, destroyed the temple, destroyed the city. Tony, what are you talking about? We live in Babylon. He said, every nation is Babylon. There is no nation on this earth that is perfect. No nation, regardless of what they say, that really live under God. Basically, we live under ourselves. It's me, myself, and I. And that's not a good thing. But he said, I will tell you this though. If I had to choose which Babylon I was going to live under, it would be this one. We have it pretty good here, folks. We do. So let's uh, do our best to pull back together and, and be people who are loving and caring and look out for each other and not merely ourselves. I just wanted to say a word about uh, fireworks, though. I know I said go out and drive up and down the streets. We had our own fireworks here last night at our house. What it was was Mother Nature. Uh, it's been so hot and so dry, and it's going to continue to be that way. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, when Janice and I were out collecting eggs and getting ready to put the chickens away, the heavens opened, and down came the rain, a real gully washer. We've had well over an inch of rain, and it was beautiful. We really, really needed it. The garden needed it. The lawn needed it. We all needed it. So hopefully you might get some of that coming your way too. But 4th of July, you know, celebrating our independence, our freedom. And I guess that's the, the thing that we need to realize is freedom. What does that mean? Because the Apostle Paul talks a lot about freedom in his letters. And he says, you know, you, you have to be careful when you when you're talking about this thing called freedom because when you come right down to it, we are never really free. We are slaves, as he put it. It's kind of a thing we don't like talking about right now with the current political stuff going on in our country. But in Paul's day, there were slaves everywhere. Um, the Roman civilization that much of the world lived under slavery was a fact of life and he said you know what there are slaves and you are a slave you are always a slave you're a slave to something it's up to you to decide what you are going to be a slave to are you going to be a slave to your own selfish whims to your own selfish desires or are you going to be a slave to God? Because that's a different kind of slavery. When you give your allegiance to God, that's where you find true freedom. Freedom to live. Live the life that God wants you to live. Live the life in which we look out after each other and we take care of each other. We care for one another.
We're going to hear some of that in our, go our, not our gospel lesson, our epistle lesson for this Sunday. And we're going to continue to hear it because we're going to be hearing from Paul a lot this year. Freedom. Where's the source of your freedom? Where's the source of mine? Do we find that freedom as we give ourselves and our lives over to God and what he would like us to do in this world? Or are we just giving ourselves over to temporal things? Things that, that might make us feel good right now, but in the end are not only self-destructive, but destructive of our environment, destructive of the um, societies that we live in, Will you and I choose to give our ultimate allegiance, not to any flag in this world, but our ultimate allegiance to God? That's what freedom is all about. Oh, go ahead, let's celebrate the fourth. Let's celebrate that, that day way back when, when our country announced its independence from Great Britain, but let's most especially celebrate our total dependence on a God who loves us, cares for us, and asks us to take care of everybody in our society. Everybody! Because if you want to say it, then you have to mean it. All lives matter. All lives matter. Just don't pick and choose all lives. Yours, mine, my black neighbors down the road, my Amish neighbors right next door to me, the Hispanic neighbors that are working the fields all around me. All lives matter because all people are created in the image of God. Let's celebrate our lives together our lives of freedom our lives of peace and hope and love god's blessings be with you on this fourth of july